What's going on guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 Dynasty featuring my team, the number 2 Iowa Hawkeyes. And today we are at home facing number 12 Michigan and let's just hope, we can only hope that this is actually going to be a good matchup. On paper it looks fantastic, it looks like you know this could be a really close game. But you always got to play the game, right? And we're going to give the football off to Mark Wiseman. As usual, Jake Rudock is back from his injury. He had a concussion last week. He is back and ready to go this week. And hopefully he can come back and strike with vengeance. You know what I'm saying? So third down and four, Jake Rudock, quick strike. And that was a really weird route that I set up for Jake Duzzy. But, hey, whatever gets the first down, right? So second and 11 here for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Jake Rudock back to throw. Looking over to the left side, it's Jacob Hillier with the first down. Breaking tackles down to the, about the 22-yard line. And it's another Iowa Hawkeye first down. Now second and seven. We're looking to punch this one in for the touchdown. Jake Rudock, quick strike to Derek Mitchell. Down to about the 11-yard line. Gets the first down. And the Iowa Hawkeyes are looking really good on this first drive. Now third down and four for the Hawkeyes. Mark Wiseman is out for a little bit, but he will be back. Don't worry. It's only a foot contusion. But touchdown for the Hawkeyes as Jacob Hiller gets that one in. It is now 7-0 Hawkeyes. Now here we go, second and four for Michigan. They got a pretty good high-powered offense. Let's see if we can stop it. They're running an option play, and they're going to pitch it off to the running back green, and he's going to get a first down as we miss a couple of tackles on that play, and Michigan's got a first down. So, third down and three for Michigan. Let's see if they can do something on offense here again to keep themselves alive on the drive. Morris, he's a lefty. He throws it to the right side. It's Howard with the tippy-toe catch and gets the first down for Michigan. What a nice catch. Nice footwork by that receiver. Third down and five for Michigan again. Another third down situation. Morris, the lefty quarterback, back to throw. He's throwing. Oh, and it gets batted down. And Morris gets an incomplete pass. And Michigan is going to attempt the longest field goal I think I've ever seen in this game. This is a 57-yarder. 57 yarder and guess what he makes it seven to three off of a long field goal attempt i don't even think like most soccer kickers can't even do that but anyway let's see if we can get something going on offense once again as mark wiseman gets a first down on that play for a gain of nine yards now second and two for the hawkeyes jake rudock leading his troops again this time we're going to give the football off to wiseman once again and he's going to get a first down again this guy's just been just stellar you cannot tell this guy he hasn't been doing stellar because you'd be wrong so third down and inches again this time we're at the 35 yard line and jordan kanzeri getting the ball and gets a first down for the hawkeyes nice play right there and it keeps the drive alive i like that so third down and six again for the hawkeyes jake rudock looking looking has plenty of time to throw and it is caught by Derek mitchell but he's a yard short of the first down and the iowa hawkeyes are going to settle for a field goal here the kick is up, and it squeaks through the crossbar. It's good. 10-3, to Hawkeyes. This game is pretty good so far. Still two and a half minutes left in the second quarter. Still plenty of time left in this game. So here's Michigan again, kicking it out to Jones. He's about to the 47-yard line on that catch, and Michigan gets another first down. Now next play, first and 10 for Michigan. Taylor trying to run around, trying to figure out what he can do to stop this Michigan offense. Here is Morris. Hand it off to Hayes, and Hayes is going to get a first down right there as we had another case of poor tackling on that play. Just too many tackles being broken, and you know me, I love it when a defense just knows how to tackle, and we haven't been doing that so far. The running game is just killing us right now. They get another first down right there, and they keep the drive alive. They have a possibility of tying up this football game. Second and three now. Here's Morris in the shotgun all alone. He's dropping back with that lefty arm of his. Looking over the middle of the hill and getting another first down for Michigan. And Michigan's going to call a timeout right there with just a minute and four seconds left in the quarter. Now third down and 13. Michigan's in a little bit of a hole. Morris back to throw. Looking. Trying to find somebody open. He's taking too much of his time. And he's throwing it to the middle of nowhere incomplete. I'm surprised he didn't try and run right there. But hey, I'm not the computer. So, Michigan's going to settle for another field goal with 51 seconds left in the quarter, in the half. And the kick is up, and it's right through the uprights once again. It is now 10-6. Now, 17 seconds left in the quarter. Jake Rudock in the shotgun all alone. 
he's looking for somebody open. Throwing it deep down the field to Willies, and he gets it in a tight window for that first down. Gain of 18 with just 10 seconds left in the half. Now second and 10 for the Hawkeyes with 7 seconds left. Jake Rudock in the shotgun looking for somebody open. Looking over the middle. It's caught by Derek Mitchell in another tight window for the touchdown at 17 to 6 at halftime. Here we go, second half, third down and two for Michigan. Here is Morris back to throw over the middle to Howard. And he's dumping it down, but he looks like he coughs up the football and is picked up by Akake. And that's an Iowa first down as we force a turnover. Kind of unexpected, but we'll take it. But look at this. The officials are going to review this one. And we're going to see right here. And it's hard to tell on that angle. So we're going to get another look. And yeah, that's hard to tell as well. But look at this angle right there. His right elbow hits the ground. And then the ball pops out on his left arm. But that's still technically down by rule. So they're going to give Michigan the ball back. Which is a good call. I will say that much. That is a very good call. I'm glad the refs got that right. Because right now we're up 17-6. to 6 And I could really care less. But look at this play right here by Hayes getting that screen pass to go for a big gain as Gare pushes him down after picking up 32 yards on that play. Now third down and five for Michigan. They're still in this ball game. There's still plenty of time left. Morris in the shotgun with his running back in the backfield. He's looking for somebody open, looking over the middle. It is caught by Debra. Yeah, Darbo. And Michigan's got a first down. So Michigan's doing pretty good on offense. They just haven't been getting touchdowns, which is not a good thing, but it can be. It can be, but it can't be. At least they're moving the ball with effective passing. They're doing really well in offense. It's just they're not getting touchdowns out of it. You see right there, that ball gets swatted in the end zone. Good defense by Maurice Fleming. And Michigan's going to settle for another field goal right here. That first field goal was like 52 yards. My apologies. But still, that's a long field goal. So Bellamy, hold, snap, it's good. 17-9, a touchdown and a two-point conversion. And this game could be tied. But Mark Wiseman's not having any of that. So he's going to get a first down right there and gets, you know, considerably good yardage so far today. 17 carries for 82 yards. He hasn't been getting the ball as much today. But that's because, you know, when you have the, when you're playing defense for most of the half, you know, you really can't get the touches like Mark Wiseman used to be getting, like 30, 35. He's only got like 19 at this point in the game. But I'm okay with that as long as he's getting yards, right? So we have Plua in motion. Mark Wiseman getting the football once again. And he's going to get some big yards on this one. Taking it to the outside and gets a big game right there of 17. And another Iowa Hawkeye first down. Now fourth quarter just beginning third down and 14 for the Hawkeyes. We are not in field goal range quite yet. But we're quite, we're really out of punting range at this point. But we get a first down right there because Jacob Hillier is probably our best receiver on the team. And he catches just about anything that's thrown his way. So we get a first down right there. It's now second and seven for the Hawkeyes. We're going to give the football off to Mark Wiseman once again as long as we get this tight end in motion Collins and Mark Wiseman taking the football and he is going to get oh look at the spin move and he's going to get a first down to about the four yard line we'll give him the four and wow Mark Wiseman really turning up this second half 128 yards in the game I am impressed by this man's performance so far even though he hasn't been getting the touches he used to getting but second and goal sweep left Mark Wiseman look at him shed the tackle and he gets in the end zone for the touchdown 24 to 9 not a blowout win like we had it with Northwestern and Purdue and all the other schools we faced so far. But these teams are getting tougher later on, later on in the year. So, yeah, it, it's not getting easy. So Morris back to throw and he gets sacked on the play. And that ends any Michigan run right there as we wind down the clock for the rest of the game. And Mark Wiseman just having a, another great day as we win 24-9. to and next week is our regular season finale against Nebraska. Yes, they were number, they were a top five team last year, but they've considerably dropped to where they were only a 500 team. So I wouldn't say this is going to be another easy game, but you never know. So they still got the same quarterback, the same cheesy offense that I really hate facing and all that crazy jazz. But anyway, guys, we're 11-0 on the season, and we look to go 12-0 tomorrow. <laughs> so... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a first-time viewer of myself, please subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter. Like my Facebook page. Those links are in the description. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want to see some crazy, stupid pics of myself. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I am the mayor of Jam City. And I am out. Peace.